we're going to be looking at how to automatically create views and sheets using the power of Dynamo. Now, this is a process you could do manually within Revit. It's very tedious, something that I do not want to do, so I don't want you to have to do it either. So let's look at the manual process really quick. So basically in Revit, you would go to View tab, Plan View, Floor Plan. We'd say do not duplicate existing views. You create these, these views, um, but you don't have any control over the naming, the syntax of these things. Uh, they create themselves, uh, here they are, but then I have to do this tedious right click, rename, garbage, so level one, floor plan, not, not intuitive. Um, so we don't wanna do this. Um, the other thing is then we have to create sheets, create, grab our title block for our sheet. We drop that view on the sheet. Again, we don't have any control over the naming or the syntax of this sheet, so I have to go through and say rename, rename the sheet. It's very tedious and cumbersome, so we don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is, I want to leverage the power of Dynamo. I know you do too. So we're going to go ahead and just undo this and let's jump right into Dynamo. Now that we're in Dynamo, what we want to do is we want to start creating our floor plan views, our ceiling plan views, and then dropping those views onto sheets. We're going to be doing this uh, from our levels. So the first thing we need to do is start grabbing our levels. To do that, we're going to do a right click on the canvas and we're just going to do a search for all elements of type. All right. So now these are not Revit types, like family types or parameter types, uh, but what type of elements do you want? All right, so we're grabbing all elements of type, and then we're gonna do a search for element type. There they are, element types, and we're gonna grab the levels. Now you can scroll down here to your heart's content, or if you wanna do it quicker, you can just do uh, a keystroke for L, that'll bring us down to level, and we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. This is gonna grab all the levels that are in our project, all right? And to start seeing this, what we could do is we could hook up a watch node. And if we hook that up and we say run, you will see we're getting all of our levels uh, from our project. All right. So the next step, what we want to do is we want to create floor plans and ceiling plans from this level. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll do a right click floor plan by level. OK, there it is. And you can also do a ceiling plan by level okay you can grab it here you can also go to the view tab under revit and you can go to floor plan view by level that's the other location as well as ceiling plan by view okay that's the other way to get to it all right now what we want to do is we don't want to hook these up because uh, what's going to happen is it's actually going to start creating those in our project and we don't want to do that just yet so what i'm going to do is make sure that yours is set to manual. You don't want it on automatic. All right, so we're going to hook up our elements to the levels. And then what we want to do is we actually want to start naming these uh, based on uh, their their use. So if it's a floor plan, floor plan, if ceiling, ceiling plan. So we're going to do right click and we're going to say element dot set parameter. Okay, so we're doing a element dot set parameter by name. We'll go ahead and hook the floor plan view into that. And then we're gonna say for the parameter name, you can do a, a double click. This gets your code block. It's just a quick way to, to type this in. They're actually really powerful. But for right now, we're just gonna call this view name. All right, so that's the parameter that we're using and, uh, from our view that we're gonna name. And then this is going to be whatever the level is plus floor plan, all right? So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create another code block and I'm gonna call this floor plan, right? But what I wanna do is I actually want to concatenate the level name and the floor plan. So to do that, what I can do is I can actually use a level name node. So we'll do level dot name and we'll hook in our levels to level. We have floor plan, right? And then what we wanna do is we wanna do a this concatenate. You can do concatenate or you use this plus button right here, okay? This plus is gonna allow us to hook in level floor plan, all right? And then that will be pushed into our element set parameter. So it's gonna say level one floor plan, level two floor plan, etc. All right, 
And then we're going to do the exact same thing for our ceiling plan. All right. So what we want to do is grab this same information. We're going to grab the view name, this plus, and this code block. And let's just copy, paste this down. This will be quicker for us, right? And this view name actually can be like that. And then this is going to be our ceiling plan. All right. So we'll say ceiling plan. All right. And let's see how this is looking now. All right. It's going to say, and then make sure that your ceiling plan, this is big. Make sure your ceiling plan is hooked into element. All right. Your floor plan is hooked into element up here. And then what we're doing is we're grabbing uh, the level name and concatenating that with floor plan, level name, ceiling plan for these two. Okay. So this up here is creating our floor plan and setting our name. Let's just kind of uh, bring this out a little bit. So then this here, what we want to do is we can group these and we can say create group. And this is create floor plans. Okay. And then we can group these. And this is creating ceiling plans. All right. And then now I want to show you how this is working. Already we're starting to be able to just automatically create our views and sheets. So let's go ahead and um, we're just going to bring Dynamo over to the side. And I want to show you these get created, all right? So now we're creating floor plans, ceiling plans. We're going to hit run. No, I don't want to rename my corresponding views. And just watch right here under construction set. Uh, and we're going to see the floor plans. Boom. We got floor plans, level one floor plan, ceiling plan, level one ceiling plan. You notice here we don't, these are kind of running together. What do you think we need to do to fix that? I'll show you. So we're going to go ahead and undo that guy. And if we go in here, we're just going to put in a dash in front of ceiling plan and a dash in front of floor plan. And if we rerun this, we're going to get that. No, I don't want to course, uh, rename corresponding views. We're actually going to get the floor plan and the ceiling plan uh, populated again with the proper syntax. Floor plan, level, level one floor plan level one ceiling plan and then all the, the rest of them. So that's how you create floor plans and ceiling plans. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to start creating our reflected ceiling plan sheet nomenclature and our floor plan uh, sheet nomenclature. But before we go any further, what we want to do is let's go ahead and freeze the ceiling plan view by level and let's freeze our floor plan uh, view by level as well because we do not want this uh, Dynamo script creating floor plans and ceiling plans in the background we're working on on this next step. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab the level name and we're going to put on our reflected ceiling plan and floor plan uh, names. So we're going to create our, our sheet name first. All right, so to do that, what we want to do is let's just drop in a code block and let's call this uh, floor plan. We'll do all caps on this, so floor plan. And then we'll use the plus node. And then what we can do is we can say level name plus floor plan. And let's put a dash right here before floor plan. And then what this will allow us to do when we run this, and just again, make sure your floor plan view by level and ceiling plan by level are frozen. What we can see is we're getting that level one floor plan. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for our reflected ceiling plan. So here I can call this RCP and if I run this, you'll see I'm getting level one RCP uh, all the way through level 16 and then I'm also getting level one floor plan all the way through 16. So that's how we create our sheet numbers. So this is going to be, um, we'll call this create sheet number or no, name, excuse me, this is sheet name. Create sheet name, uh, floor plan sheet name. And this one's going to be uh, RCP sheet name, okay? So we can group this one as well, right click, right click, create group. Create 
ceiling plan sheet name. Okay. Okay, so now that we're getting our sheet name for our floor plans and our ceiling plans, next we want to create our sheet numbers for our floor plans and our sheet plans. And to do that, we're actually going to use a new tool. It's called the uh, sequence tool. And it's very similar to, if you've ever used Grasshopper, um, it's similar to their series tool. So I always get it confused myself. I always want to call it series, but it's sequence in Dynamo. And what we want to do is we want to get a count of our levels to feed into our sheet number, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this, this list level name and we're gonna feed that into a list count, all right? So we're gonna do a right click and do list.count and we'll plug this into the amount and then we'll plug our level name, whoops, we'll plug our level name into our list count and then our start is gonna be at 101, okay? So for our sheets, we want it to be like AC 101 or A 101, or if you're mechanical, M 101, E 101, et cetera. And so to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in another code block and we're gonna call this 101. Actually, no, no quotes, just 101. And we'll plug that in. And that's gonna be our numerical value. And then the step is gonna be uh, just one, okay? So make sure to, to renumber this to be just one, okay? One is the step, and then the start is 101. So now if we do a run on this, you'll see what we're getting is 101, 102, 103. That's exactly what we want for this, this sequence. But we want to put a prefix on this, right? A101, A102, or M101. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another uh, plus symbol, plus node, and then we'll put in a uh, another code block, and this will be a dash quote end quote. And we put that in there, and we'll hit run, and voila, we have a one hundred one, a one hundred two, etc. So that's getting us our sheet numbers for our floor plans. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and group this set of nodes, and we're going to call this create floor plan sheet numbers, okay? And then we're gonna do the exact same thing except for a ceiling plan. So we could actually just copy this guy up and then we could call this AC, okay? So this is where it's a little quicker. And then if we run this, you can see we're getting our A series and our AC series on both of these, okay? Now we could do a little bit of uh, refactoring here to make this clean. Uh, if we wanted to. For example, um, you can repurpose this 101 in here like that. Um, you can repurpose your uh, code block for this step uh, there and remove this one. So that way you're just having uh, one of these identified for that. But for now, let's just go ahead and leave the ones we have. I just want to mention that from a, a code kind of cleanup standpoint that that's kind of good practice to make sure you're only using the same ones. That's good for list management. All right, so now we have our A series, our AC series. Uh, for our numbers, we have our ceiling plan sheet names and our floor plan sheet names. Now what we need to do is we need to start combining these lists and feeding them into our sheet creation tool. Okay, so to combine these, we're gonna use the um, list, list.create. And the thing to note here though, is that we do need these to, um, just notice this needs to be ceiling plan, create ceiling plan. And the order in our data needs to be the same. So our ceiling plan color needs to be the same. And then our ceiling plan data, the same. So what we're doing is we're putting the ceiling plan information up on the top and the ceiling plan information on the top. So that way we can kind of visually see how our data is flowing. And then um, let's make sure ceiling plan here, uh, we'll put that on the top as well. This is gonna be really important as we start to uh, combine our data now. All right, so we have ceiling plan sheet numbers, floor plan sheet numbers, ceiling plan sheet name, floor plan sheet name, and then ceiling uh, plan and floor plans, all right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start combining this data. So this here for our uh, sheet numbers, we're gonna combine these two into this list create. And then that's gonna, if I run this, 
What this is going to do, let's see here, we'll, we'll hook up a watch node so you can see, is it combines these two data streams. So now we have our AC series and our A series within the same data stream, okay? And then now let's do the same thing for our ceiling plans and our floor plans. So we're gonna do the uh, list.create. And we're just gonna hook those up. So that way our ceiling plans, floor plans, are all connected here for the, the sheet name. And then now we're going to grab this uh, sheet creation tool. So actually let's go to under the Revit tab. And if you go to views and sheet, we're gonna use this by name, number, title block and view. We're gonna use the singular one. So this says, if we do a, go to the help, we'll see that it says uh, sheet, it creates a Revit sheet. This method will automatically pack the views onto the sheet, all right? So this is gonna put the views onto the sheet for us as well as create the sheets. All right, so here it's asking for the sheet name and the sheet number, all right? So this is our sheet numbers, that's gonna go into number. This is our sheet name, that's gonna go into name. And we can just flip flop these so that way we're not gonna across some wires, it's not confusing. Bring this down. All right, and then it's gonna ask uh, for the views that we're placing on the sheets. Um, we're gonna go ahead and combine this data, so list.create. Okay, and then the other thing to note actually is that the sheet number um, wants a string. Do you see that? It says sheet number as string. So this one, actually what we need to do is we need to use string, it's gonna be string from object. So we need to convert this data to string when we push it into the sheet number. And then finally, we're gonna put in the views, not finally, putting in the views, and then we still need the title block. So title block family type, and here we'll say type and uh, types, family types, there we are. So we're gonna grab the family types node and this is gonna be title block, 24 by 36. We'll plug that in. And now our views for our floor plans as well as our ceiling plans are created, uh, our sheets, numbers, our uh, sheet names, all of this is being coordinated and then we have our title block populating as well. All right, so now we're gonna run this and see how it works. All right, so now we're gonna bring Dynamo over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unfreeze this uh, ceiling plan view by level. Unfreeze the floor plan by level. And what we should get is we should get the floor plans, the ceiling plans, the sheets created and then the views dropped onto those sheets. Okay, so now that we have everything hooked up, let's go ahead and run our script and see how we do. Fingers crossed, we're gonna hit run. No, I don't wanna rename corresponding views. Okay, our script just finished running. We'll go ahead and minimize this. Let's see what we got. So we have our floor plan views being created. There they are, level one floor plan through 16, level one through 16 for our ceiling plans. Look at this, we also have our sheets all created with the proper syntax for both floor plans, ceiling plans, as well, check it out. The views that are also being named are also dropped onto the sheet using uh, the packing feature of that node, which is awesome. So we're also getting floor plans on uh, sheets with their proper naming and ceiling plans on sheet with their proper naming. So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, that is how you create views and sheets automatically in Revit with the proper syntax, dropping the views on the sheets. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up like. Also, please subscribe. We post these videos every Wednesday uh, to try to help add value to your life. Uh, so please hit that subscribe so that way you have a notification when they, the next video comes out.